Hello everyone, it's Amy from Dewdrops Photography. Thank you so much for being here. I want to show you how I would edit this photo using the Newborn Collection 1 by Greater Than Gatsby. The first thing I'm going to do is just go ahead and clean up a few things that are bothering me. I'm going to use my spot, heal spot healing brush and just go ahead and get these little pieces of lint off the cowboy hat real quick. All the things we see after we take the photo and get it into Photoshop. You just got a little flakes here and there. I'm going to zoom in and make sure I get those nice and clean. And then I'm going to go ahead and crop. Well, let me go ahead and get the patch tool. I'm going to take care of this little sticker right here. And then I'm going to get my marquee tool and go ahead and select that area, hit delete content aware and it should fill it in nicely for me. If it doesn't fill it in perfectly, I can, I'm going to go over that in a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and crop it to my liking and I'm just going to drag this in a little bit. And then I'm going to make sure the content aware is selected and I'm going to bring this up a little bit and then hit enter and it should fill it in for me. There we go. So I'm also going to rotate it just a tiny bit. I feel like he's kind of leaning to the right a little too much for my liking. And there we go. All right. So I'm going to zoom in and I'm going to just um, start by using the baby foundation. Just because it's a nice little pop. Now you can always go ahead and open up these layers and change them to your personal liking. But what I do is I just take the whole entire opacity and just bring it down a smidge. What it does is really make everything pop and I like it a lot. And I'm going to go ahead and flatten that, Command Shift E. And now I'm going to go to the Natural Baby Skin Smoother. Zoom in. At 50% opacity, I'm going to just brush over his skin, give him a nice little baby skin smooth. You don't want to overdo it. And you want to make sure you are getting his body, all of his body parts. Um, I'm not really big on take, uh, taking flakes off of hands. It's more of a personal preference. I like to show a little bit of them of their newbornness, if that's a word. So I like to keep a little bit of flakes on their hands and feet. But if you see, it just gives it a nice little subtle softening. And Command Shift E is flatten. I'm gonna go back to my um, spot healing brush and just go ahead and zoom in real close and get those little bumps. Sometimes we don't see things if we really zoom in tight. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and go to darken lashes. And I don't make fake lashes where there aren't any. What I like to do is enhance the lashes that they do have. If they don't have any lashes, I would just make my opacity about 20%. And just do a nice little line across the eyelid right here. But because he has these nice little lashes, I'm gonna go ahead and enhance those. And you can use, um, oh, a little too much. Make sure your brush is really small. And just real quickly, just go over what's already there. And over here in the highlighted areas as well. It just for me, it gives them a nice little pop. I'll zoom out and show you before and after. There we go. Um, you can actually go ahead and keep on running these actions on top of each other. So what I'm gonna do now is hit paint away red splotches. And at 50%, I'm gonna get rid of some of this red on his cheeks over here and on his forehead. And to raise your um, brush, you can use the bracket key. 
up or down. I mean bigger or smaller, sorry. That's confusing. Again, I don't like taking so much red out that the babies are unrecognizable. Uh, that's, again, a personal preference. Now, if I've gone too far, all I have to do is go back over here to the opacity and bring that down a little bit. I like to keep the uh, cheeks a little bit rosy. And there we go. All right. Um, I'm going to do a little bit more now that I've zoomed out. There we go, that looks good. Command Shift E now. I'm gonna, I don't know what this is right here. I'm gonna go ahead and take care of that using my healing brush tool. I'm going to select this area right here and just kind of run over that. I don't know what happened there. Okay, looking good. So then if I normally what I do is I will go to um soft lip color boost and you the great thing about this is you can use it on their lips and their cheeks so if he didn't have that natural rosy glow already i would just make my brush big and just do a pop of color there and there even though in the highlighted area you really won't see it so there we go i pretty much just added back what i took away but it makes more sense now because i um, it's just in this area right here and i love the little color it gives on his lips. All right, and I'm going to, I don't need to do any of the purple toes, obviously. He's not Jonas to me. So I'm gonna go ahead and go down to my artistic enhancements. I'm going to use, uh, let's see, there's so many great ones. The Hickory Dickory, not for this image. Um, hot Cross Buns, yes. So I'm gonna bring Hot Cross Buns down to about 15% just gives a nice little to me a little airy haze and then I'm gonna flatten that again Oop. flatten that and sometimes I do uh, the baby owl towel is one of my favorites it gives it more of a rustic sepia look to me but I don't want it too much so I'm gonna bring that way down to about four uh, let's do four yeah okay all right, and so the last thing I would do for this particular image would be to sharpen the details. And I'm just gonna make my brush really big, about 50%, and just do one click over him to make him pop even more. There we go. Now, I'm going to show you the before and after. Very subtle, but it makes a big difference. All right, so now that I've done the color version, I'm gonna, I would save that, and then my favorite black and white is the candy milk. And I just love how contrasty it is, and he really makes them pop. And you can play with these layers here too. Uh, again, each Im image is a little different, so you can just play with them and see which works best for your particular image. There you have it. And I would flat, I'm gonna bring that back up to its original. I like that matty look. And there you have it. So I'm gonna flatten that and I would save that as a black and white file. Thank you so much.